Hi golfers and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn, Leopard certified instructor and former professional tour player. And I'm here today to talk to you about the release. So the release is quite possibly one of the most talked about motions and positions in the golf swing. And I'm here today to shed some light on what it should be like, what it should not be like, what are the dangers, what are the common mistakes, and how you can make sure that you get your club face to the ball more solid, more square, more often. So let's jump into it. All right, so the release. The release essentially happens right at the ball. So if we grab a ball here, the release ideally happens within the foot of kind of the distance from just before the ball to just behind the ball. And that's, what, well, that's the space in the golf swing, the stretch of the golf swing that's most commonly referred to as the release. But I want to clarify that there really isn't a whole lot of hand action, active hand action, active hand turning. Um, there's a lot of, there's passive rotation in the impact and in the release, but there is no active or there should not be active hand motion. And I'm gonna demonstrate this for you. So this is kind of the baseline. This is setting the bottom line of what we want here and what we're really talking about. As you're getting into impact, there really, there obviously is club face rotation, but at no point is there just the hand, active hand rotation down here at you know the bottom of your swing. The hand rotation actually happens way past the golf ball. It happens here. This is where you, when you look at all the tour players, this is when you start seeing actually rotation off the hands and the wrists and then going into the finish. You do not see active hand rotation down here unless you're massively flipping the club face, of course, right? And this leads me to one of the common mistakes, most common mistakes is flipping the club face. So let's talk about why people flip the club face. And this goes back to the passive rotation I was talking about before, because it's passive as it's driven by the big muscles in the swing. It's driven by your core, it's driven by your chest and by the body rotation. The hands are just attached to your body and they will follow the rotation of the big muscles. Unless you have to compensate, which brings you to the flip. If you're compensating and your body is stalling and stopping and not rotating, your hands will have to take over. And that's what happens with a flip which is this active hand rotation that we want to avoid because it's very inconsistent. It's really a complete guess on timing when people do this because you cannot control this every single time. You cannot control a flip and a fast compensated rotation consistently. There's no way, no matter how good you are. And obviously better players who have slightly more active wrists in the swing, they've done this over years and years and years, but I can promise you those are not the most consistent ball strikers on tour. So. What we want to achieve is understanding, number one, that our hand rotation and our hands are following our body rotation. So it's really important to understand that at impact and at this release point, really the core, see this, how the core is driving this, and I'm not actually, the face is, the face is squaring up here. My face is square, but it's because my core is turning. It's not because my hands are actively rotating. So we want to make sure that your core is actually driving that impact position and that face rotation. And then here really, as the body is rotating and as the centripetal force of the club head is pulling out, this is when your hands are, are starting to then actually roll over, release, actually active re release and turn, but it's way past the golf ball, way past impact. I wanna show you a good drill that will help you get that understanding of body rotation to hand rotation in a passive and correct way. So we're gonna take our club, and we're going to lift it up to 90 degrees like this. And then we're gonna swing back and pretend like we have our golf swing on this 90 degree plane. And we're gonna fold our right elbow right here. And then we're gonna just throw that club head to the front by body rotation. So now rotate with your chest to the target and keep it on that same plane. Do that again. See how my hands are not, not actually rolling over? Because if they were to roll over here, it would just be like that but that's a super bumpy, like nobody does this, right? If it's very hard one to do and it just, you can feel that that's wrong. So here, swinging on this plane and rotating with your chest towards the target, is that same feel you wanna have on the actual golf swing plane. So now let's work our way down on that same kind of plane as we're tilting our chest to almost down to the golf swing. And that's really, going to give you that feel of rotating and steering and driving that release rotation from your core. Now let's put this into actual action and let's put this into a golf swing. So I'm going to 
feel like I'm throwing my club head towards the target and I'm going to really drive that rotation with my core. And this is going to take, you know, when you do this, this is going to take a couple of shots to get the feeling because it's very, it's not easy to drive through to the target with your core, but that's really going to increase your, your strength, your force in, that gets translated into your golf ball. Again, hit another one for you guys. This one wasn't bad, but we can do better. Here we go. Really nice drive through to the finish, through to the target with my chest and really passive hand rotation in that release space of the golf swing, in that impact space of the golf swing. So I hope this little explanation on release and impact and hand rotation that's really driven by the core and your body rotation uh, made sense to you guys, that you guys can try to feel this next time you go out there. And you know, if you like this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave me some comments. I always love to hear from my followers and I can't wait for next session. Yeah.